Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. It's probably been about a month and a half since I last vlogged. Um, baby girl is here. Things are a little different around here. We got a basket of laundry in the back. That's just real. But yeah, so baby girl is here. She is a month old. She's five weeks today. She was born on December 6th at 1 a.m. Basically, I've just been home. We've just been enjoying her for the holidays, like for Christmas and all of that. So I wanted to enjoy that before I started vlogging again. Pretty much what I've been up to is being a mom, um, obviously not working right now. I plan on eventually going back to work in the future, um, but if I do, it'll probably be for like one or two days. I don't know, we'll see. That's all up in the air. Juan is back to work. He was able to take two weeks off, so that was really helpful. He's been back for like about three weeks. So he's at work right now. So basically I've just been home, being a new mom to my baby. Um, I love her so much. She is so perfect and so cute. She's taking a nap right now, but I love being a mom. I love the fact that she like needs me, how she lays on me, and it's just so rewarding. It's definitely hard at times. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do um, on top of like the breastfeeding journey and like all of that stuff before. I'm not breastfeeding now. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> But yeah, that's a little update. She's here, I'm home, we're happy, everything is great. But yeah, she's taking a nap right now, so I'll go show her really quick. She loves to sleep in this snow woomy pillow. It's her favorite thing, and I love it too, because it's a lot more convenient and better than just and better than just having her like in a crib or the bassinet, which is far in the other room. So, little baby, look at her hair. She's her dad's hair for sure. So yeah, she's sleeping. I just wanted to give an update on how things are going. Um, and like I said, things have been good. Things are hard sometimes, obviously, especially since Juan went back to work. Um, the whole time leading up to it, I was like anxious about him going back to work and I was super emotional um, postpartum and stuff like that. Like I would cry at like, the dumbest things, not dumb, but like I would just cry very easily. That's something that I didn't expect to happen or like I didn't expect to be like that hormonal. But yeah, I need to wash these bottles and sterilize them really quick before her next feeding, which is in an hour, about an hour. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. <laughs> up so she's kind of fussy um but to wash the bottles i'm using this dish this bottle and dish soap by dapple baby this is our baby brezza this is a sterilizer it, it uh, sterilizes and it um dries so i'm gonna do that really quick because it's about to be her feeding time at like 2 30 so instead of drying uh sterilizing and drying it i'm just gonna sterilize um, since she's getting fussy, which means she might be hungry. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. It's okay. This is real life. She's not on a set schedule. She eats every two to three hours, but lately it's been like right on the three hour mark pretty much. Um, but last night she got hungry like two hours and we just gave her like half of what we normally give her. So she's starting to form a little bit of a schedule, but she's not like set on a schedule. She's only five weeks today, so we're doing good. She's a little, <laughs> she's better now, but. I have my hospital bags still packed, still on the table. But yeah, this is real life, baby crying. Um, 
you have things that need to get done, laundry, you have stuff to put away. Sometimes you can't and that's okay because you're a mom and that's a full-time job in its own. All right, I came to sit in the chair and rock with her for a little bit. She just like wants to be on me today, which I'm fine with that. So I love the cuddles. We're just gonna wait for her bottles to finish and then I'll probably feed her after that. And then I'll probably eat lunch eventually if I have time. But yeah, so it's very easy to get overstimulated or stressed out and overwhelmed, especially if you're doing it by yourself and your husband works. Um, there's definitely times where you can feel like this is a lot, this is really hard, and it is hard, but it's normal to feel like that. Every mom feels like that, and it's not all bad. Like, there's amazing, rewarding times, too. I just want to show that because it's not all good. Like, some of the people that you watch or the things that you see, like, on Instagram and all the moms like they look like they have it all together and it's okay not to have it all together um this is just reality but also <laughs> as it's one of the hardest things um i've done in my life it's also the most rewarding and it's nice to feel like needed and wanted by this little human that you created so if all you do today is just feed your baby and take care of her that's enough so but yeah look at this baby i just look at her and everything is all okay and my husband juan is a great dad he's so amazing we're like a team it's so helpful when he's off and it makes me really appreciate like when he is home and he's not at work like on nights or just like a couple days like it's really awesome to have another person help i have so much respect for single moms i don't know how you guys do it you're all amazing that's my favorite thing in the world taking care of her and being her mom i've always wanted to be a mom so it's the most rewarding feeling and i am so happy I would eat a big meal in November and would eat it. All right, I just finished feeding her. She finished her whole bottle, and now I'm going to eat lunch. I put her down to, I laid her down in the snuggle me. We got um, like meal prep from this company called Mr. Meal. If you live in Orlando, um, they make meals every week and they have like new menus. So I'm eating one of the meals now. And it's very convenient, especially me being home and I can't really leave. And I don't want to be like cooking or door dashing every day. So it's nice to get these meals. It's three o'clock and I'm just now eating lunch. <laughs> I had breakfast at like nine. It's fine though. The day, honestly, like with the baby, I feel like goes by so fast just because like feeding her sometimes takes an hour. Well, not feeding her, but like burping her. Like the whole feeding process sometimes takes time. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I will come back after and see what I'm doing. <laughs> and then here she is in the swing while I eat. Hopefully it keeps her entertained. So I'm sitting down eating lunch and then Miss Thing decides to have a blowout. <laughs> We had to clean that up. It got all over her outfit, so we had to change her outfit. But we're all better now, right? All clean. And then Cooper needed to go outside. It was a bunch. Luckily, I ate most of my lunch, so that's good. She has hiccups now. So I'm gonna try to hold her for a little bit until her hiccups go away, and then I'll put her down for a nap. She's starting this thing to where now she's um, like pulling things. like. I understand why moms cut their hair because she grabs onto my hair and she will not let go. Like that little grip is crazy. And my necklace, like just when I was putting her down to change her diaper, she was holding onto my necklace and I couldn't even put her down. And I'm like, Layla, you need to let go. She's cute. So that's all that matters. So I am going to wash my hands because I didn't even wash my hands after changing her diaper. So lovely.
It's like two hours later. Um, she was being a little fussy and crying. So I was trying to like comfort her and I was thinking maybe she was tired. So I was rocking with her in the chair a little bit, but she was just hungry. So I fed her again and she ate another three ounces. So she's just going through like a growth spurt right now. So she, instead of being hungry every three hours, now she's like sometimes hungry faster. But now she's chilling in her little snuggle me. I wanted to try to go for a walk before it got dark, but it gets dark so early. It's 5, 5.30 now and it's going to get dark and it's kind of cold. So probably wait, but it's okay. The day went by so fast. Like I feel like it was just 11 o'clock in the morning. And like the feedings, like I said before, like it just like makes the time go by fast. So, but anyways, no walk today, but maybe tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I hate that it gets dark so early. It's just, I'm really struggling with um, being stuck in the house. Like I hate being stuck in the house and it's not the taking care of her part. It's just the fact that I can't go anywhere. I'm not ready to go somewhere by myself. The other day I went for the first time to try to go to the bank, um, and Starbucks by myself with her. Um, and it was good. She slept the whole time except for towards the end. She was hungry. So she was fussing like right when I pulled into our neighborhood, which was fine. But it's just stressful because I'm still sitting in the back with her. Like whenever me and Juan, like if we have to go to the store or something, I'm still in the back with her so that if she does start crying or something, I can give her a pacifier, console her or whatever. But eventually I need to go on my own with her. And I have a camera that I can see her and everything. It's just whenever she gets hungry, she like cries. Like she gets very upset, very hangry. And it's like she'll be asleep, dead asleep. And then she'll just like start screaming because she's hungry. So if I'm out in public, like that makes me nervous. Also, she doesn't have her shots yet. So I'm not like trying to be out in the stores and stuff with her. We've gone to Target together um, because we like needed things and she's always in a stroller. Or last time we actually brought her in the carrier, which was really nice because she just slept the whole time. So towards the end of my pregnancy, I couldn't work because my job is very physical. I was hurting after I would work. So I didn't work the last like month or two of my pregnancy so I was stuck in the house then just I don't like being stuck in the house like I'm dying to get out I'm dying to like go for walks like even at least when I was pregnant I would go for a walk every day like with my dog um get some fresh air and either it's been cold or it's been rainy and I don't want to take her out in the rain um, but also like the timing just has to be right when when we take her anywhere like we have to make sure that she's fed that she's burped that she's changed so that when we do go out, she's like good. There's been a couple times when we've gone out, like when we've had to go to the store, grocery store or whatever, where one time I waited in the car because she was crying. So like I fed her in the car. Also, she's a hot baby, so she doesn't like her car seat. It's not that she doesn't like her car seat, but she gets hot. I don't think she just likes being like curled up and all of that. Plus like with her onesie, she gets hot. But yeah, so it's all just like a learning experience. And obviously I'm still a new, brand new mom, only been a mom for five weeks. So like I'm still learning like her cues and learning like what kind of cries she does when she's hungry. Now I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, but like in the beginning, and even sometimes now, like if she starts crying, if she's fed, sometimes she's just gassy. My Lacan has been our lifesaver. Just little things like that, that we're both just like learning. And it's fine, it's just a learning experience, but it can be stressful whenever she is crying um, because their little cries are so sad and they just break your heart. But yeah, so for the rest of the day, I'm just pretty much gonna hang out here with her. She should be falling asleep soon because she ate again, she did a nice burp. And then I'm probably going to watch Gossip Girl because my friend got me on that. So, And there's five seasons, so I've never seen it. So I'm starting at season one right now. I'm almost done with season one. It's very repetitive on what I do. The times are different, but I'm doing the same things every day. I might do like a, I don't know about get ready with me because I don't really get ready. 
anymore um, or like a story time or something basically telling my birth story and how that went and like my breastfeeding journey but yeah if anything else happens or if I do anything interesting then I'll vlog it but we will see hi baby say hi <laughs> He's so cute. I can't believe we made that. That's crazy. She finally fell asleep. And I am tired myself. So I am just going to... I'm not going to take a nap. Most likely. I'm probably just going to lounge on the couch. So I'm just going to hang out here. Watch some TV. <sighs> and... That's all right now. Everyone's sleeping. Cooper's sleeping. Baby's sleeping. Blankets everywhere. <laughs> Burp cloths everywhere. Christmas tree's still up. I'm not ready to take her down yet. I feel like I'm gonna be so sad. Yeah. This is the life. I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. I'm blessed and I'm grateful that I can even be home to take care of her and I don't have to send her to daycare right now or I hope to ever because I have family here for when I do go back to work or I'm thankful that my husband has a good job where I can stay home everything is good but you can still be thankful and grateful and still have hard days so remember that I think I'm gonna end it here so if you want to see more videos, subscribe and make sure you like, comment, and I will be back. That was a short nap. Uh.